The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On you, Malamutes! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston is typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserve law and order in the new Northwest country where greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge and justice ruled triumphant. Dusk was creeping over the mountains in the Yukon. At a narrow pass... Hidden behind a huge boulder, four men waited for an oncoming dog sled. Father Michael, piloting the sled, was tired but happy, because on the sled in a heavy strong ox, he carried enough money to start his new mission. The men behind the boulder stood tense and silent until the sled was almost abreast of them. Then one of them suddenly raised his rifle. This will take care of it. Buck, you ain't going to shoot him. Don't shoot him, Buck. Wait. Stop that dog team. Right. Oh, you must be. Oh, Buck. I didn't think. You shouldn't have shot him. He's a priest. Shut up. Now get that box off the sled and bring it into the cabin. Jake, carry that old codger off and bury him somewhere. is heavy. Good. That means it has plenty of gold in it. It's got a good strong lock on it, too. Look. Look there on top of it. There's a cross. Sure, it's church money in it. Mike, hand me that axe. Oh, you shouldn't have done it, I tell you. It'll be bad luck killing a priest. Ah, quit your whining. Here's the axe. Yeah. Now we'll see how much these song singing fools saved up to build their church. Don't cut open that top bunk. You... Buck, you struck the cross right through the middle. So what? Hey, hey, look at the money. He must have been saving up for years to get all this. Look at it, Mike. We sure made a haul this time. It's wrong, I say. It's bad luck. We should have let him go. Pete, you're a fool. The law looking everywhere for us. And we should let this old sky pilot bring him right back to our hideout, eh? But when we planned it, you didn't tell me you was going to murder him. I thought Listen, that we was... Listen, you yellow pup. I'm sick of your squawking. If you don't like it, pack up and get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Get out of here. Now. No, no, Buck. I didn't mean... I to... don't care what you meant. You're clearing out of here. I'm sick of your griping all the time. Oh, no, Buck. I always done what you told yeah. me. Yeah? That time you shot the prospector, I almost had to hold a gun for you. You didn't stop groaning about it for a week. Well, you're done, see? Get out. No, no, Buck. Me and Mike and Jake ain't got no doubts about dividing this church money. Maybe you'll save yourself some bad luck if we take your share. Oh, please, Buck. I was just thinking about the law. When the Mounties find out that we bumped off the priest, they why... ain't gonna find out. Now get going. You ain't any good to us anyway. I don't know where I'll go. I don't want to leave the gang. Did you hear what I said? Or do you want to go to heaven with the Padre out there? But I ain't got no pack. You're not going to take time for that. Start walking down the mountain just the way you are. But, but I'll die without food. It, it's too Mike. far. Yeah. Follow him down to the pass and see that he gets going down the trail. If he stops, shoot him. Buck, please. And I just want to warn you about any squealing you might be thinking of doing. Remember, we got enough on you to hang you. So don't get any funny ideas about collecting that reward for Buck Nelson, dead or alive. Oh, Buck, you, you know I wouldn't do and that. And if you should happen to see our friend, Sergeant Preston, you might tell him that someday I'm going to get him and that fancy dog of his. boy, there's a man out there on the plane. Oh, Hawking. That's a boy. All right. On you, Malamute! We're coming. Oh, how are you, Malamute? There we are, man. What's the matter? I, I can't see you. 
I'm snow blind. Snow blind? And out here all alone? Where'd you come from? The mountains. I don't know where I am. I haven't eaten. Have you got some food? Why, sure. Wait, I'll get some. Uh, what happened to your pack? I, I didn't have none. I, here, uh, I, chew on this while I make you some hot tea. Uh, thanks. Whoa, uh, wait a minute, man. Don't wolf it down like that. Take it easy. Uh, Sit here on my sled. I'll bind up those eyes. What do you mean you had no pack? Somebody steal it? Uh, uh, well, no. Well, yeah. I I went blind. Now, you don't have to be so mysterious about it. You can tell me. Did someone steal your food? I... I can't see. Who are you? Oh, just a man trying to get along. Will you take me with you? I, I can't see. I have to go all the way to Circle City, and that's too far for you to go. You'd better get back to Vic's Roadhouse, about four miles from here, back the way I came. Vic will take care of you. Will you take me back? I have to make Circle City by tonight, or I would. But I'll do something just as good. I'll send my lead dog with you. He'll lead you there on leash if I tell him to. I'll be back day after tomorrow and pick up the dog. Vic will have you better in no time. Bonjour. This Vic's roadhouse? Oui, come here. Ah, oh, but wait, I, I help you not notice your eye. I'm snow blind. It ain't permanent. Sit down here. <laughs> Mon Dieu, but this is King. You have me, Sergeant Preston. He not come back with you? Sergeant Preston? Oui, King here, his lead dog. Oh, Sergeant Preston, yeah. Yeah, I met him, he... He couldn't come back. He had to get somewhere in a hurry. He'd go to court in Circle City. Uh, but just a minute. i get you hot soup. You ain't any good to us anyway. I'm going to get Preston and that fancy dog of his. Here, here is soup. You uh, meet Sergeant Preston here? No. No, I, I told him I'd meet him back in town. As soon as my eyes are better, I'll take his dog back there. I fix your eyes. They better soon. But first, better you eat. Bart! Mike! It's Pete! Okay, Pete. We've been watching you since you was halfway up the trail. Thought I told you to clear out. Buck, quick. we got to get this dog into the cabin. Come on, King. we got to find Preston. Find Preston? Say, what's the matter with you? You're going crazy? In here, King. There, we got him. Say, what is this, anyway? Thought maybe you'd change your mind about me, Buck, if uh, if I brought you Preston's lead dog. Preston's dog? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Listen to him. Guess he's figured out he's been trapped. Preston's dog? But where's Preston? He'll trail you up here. I, I took care of that. The trail up the mountain is packed hard. We didn't leave no tracks. And I made a big circle before I got on it. Preston can't even find the beginning of our route. I've been waiting for this. I'll put a bullet in that cur, and we won't have to be afraid of Preston for a while. Now he'll never find his hideout. Don't you think we could sell the dog? He'd bring a lot of money if we could sell him over the border. You completely loco. How you gonna get him away from here? Uh, I'm gonna plug him while I got the chance. <laughs> Sounded like glass breaking. It's the window. There he goes, that plague cur. Pete, come on. Maybe we can hit him. He's going down the other side of the mountain. Can you see him from up there, Pete? No. He just went around the curve. I could have sworn I hit him. We got to get him. Keep going. Come in. Hello, Sergeant. Any news of King? Oh, hello, Murphy. No, there's no sign of him. I've questioned everybody and tried every trail. I'm afraid he's gone this time. We'll form a searching party. There's not a man among us don't owe something to that animal. Well, that's nice of you, but I'm afraid whoever stole him had a good reason to get him out of the way. and didn't waste any time doing it. I wonder if it had any connection with Father Michael not showing up. Father Michael? The new priest who was due here two days ago. He was bringing the money to start a new mission, and he ain't showed up yet. You know what trail he was taking? He had to come over to the mountains. We can't figure it out. He, he wrote he'd be here, the weather's been good, and surely no one would harm a man of God. Oh, there are men in the Yukon who'd do anything for gold. If I just had King... Murphy, did you hear that, or am I just a... King, you're back. 
Murphy, it's King. Glory be. It's really him in the flesh. Come here, fella. Uh, his head's cut. He must have jumped through a window. And somebody tried to shoot him. Look at his shoulder. That they did, the dirty cars. If I ever find the people who did this... We'll find them, Sergeant. Instead of searching for King, we'll search for his kidnappers. All the prospectors will want to do it. Whenever you want to start it... If King's able, we'll start in the morning. There's just a chance that King can follow his own trail and lead us back to them. I'll go and tell the boys. Better tell them to come armed, Murphy. I have a hunch we're going to meet some opposition. This is the worst climb I ever had. Sure, and it, it must have been a lot easier coming down than it, than it is going up. King certainly come out of the back door of the mountain. You coming, boys? Sure, sure, we're coming. Right behind you. You better go carefully now. King seems to be getting excited. You think they'll have lookouts watching the place? Not on this side of the mountain. The trail's on the other side. I imagine they keep watch of that. Sure, and if I could be a mountain goat for just a few minutes, <laughs> boy, it sure would help. King is doing all right, though. Sore shoulder and all. Stop, King. Look, Murphy, isn't that smoke over there, right there in that hollow at the side of the mountain? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. It is. Hold it, boys. We see something. They probably have a lookout on the other side of the mountain overlooking the trail in the cabin. Murphy, you take the boys and creep up on the lookout. I'll take the cabin with King. And Murphy, keep under cover of the trees if possible. Out of the cabin as soon as the lookout's taken care of. Ah, uh, we'll quiet him all right. Just give us the time to get over there. Come on, boys. Easy, King. Mm, that's the cabin, all right. They boarded up the window. This way, King. Well, nobody here. That's strange. Guess we'll just sit here and wait for them, King. Preston, you all right? Come in, Murphy. Nobody here? No. Nope. Well, we got to look out. Caught him pretty as you please, peering down the trail. The boys got him bound and gagged. We saw you from there coming in here. There's someone coming up the trail, too. Thought I'd better get down here in case it was someone from here. Fine. Murphy, stand beside the door there in the shadows. King, <laughs> lie down here. Right beside the table, fella. Now, quiet, do you hear? Oh, quiet, King. Somebody's coming. That way, the Jake left the lookout post. I'll break his trigger neck. You got my pack, Pete? Yeah, I'm bringing it. Jake ever done nothing like that before? It's getting dark in here, Pete. Put up your hands, all of you. Why? We got you covered. Why, you... Murphy, Why? keep those two covered. Ain't he Buck Nelson? You are Buck Nelson, wanted for murder and robbery. You ain't taking me alive, you tillhorn cop. Look out! Uh, throw in a chair, the murdering thief. He lost his balance. He thought King was going to jump him. Come on, Buck, get up. He can't get up. He's knocked out. Come on, Buck. Why, why he hit his head on the corner of this heavy box. On, on a box? Keep still, you, and keep your hands up. I told him. I knew it was bad luck. He's dead. It, it killed him. I knew it would happen. What's the matter with you? What are you talking about? It's the box. The box with the broken cross. Glory be. It must be Father Michael's box. I didn't want Buck to kill him. Mike, you're a witness. I told him not to kill him. Buck killed Father Michael? I didn't want him to. <laughs> then the money for the new mission was in this box. Change preservers. Did the man stop at nothing? Well, Father Michael didn't die in vain. The reward for Buck Nelson will fill this box again and again. You and the boys take care of things here, Murphy. Come on, King. You and I will take these men back to town. Yes, King. The case is closed. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Hal Neal speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.